You want to, like, talk about 40k lore or something? Oh, you want to talk about 40k lore? Well, no, you no, 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 we got the Space Marines, we got Super Soldiers, we Shut got Necrons, up. we got the Eldar, we got Dark Eldar. We have every flavor of sci-fi you could ever possibly want. We have the Space Elves, we have the Evil Space Elves, we got the Force Shut Space up. Elves. We got the Orcs, we got the Space Orcs. We have the uh, Super Soldiers, you know, we got the Cyborgs, we got the Evil... You uh, definitely just, said one of these at least twice. I like freaking can, my vocal cords hurt and I don't give a sh so where do you like to start, Simon? Let's start with the elves. Alright then. The Eldar. Basically, they are a race of psych Well, so basically in this world they're trying they're trying their hardest to say we're totally not fantasy, but they're totally just fantasy in space, okay? <laughs> so it's not magic, it's psychic powers. Look at me psychically blast those people to bits with lightning. Look at me psychically blow that person's brains to bits. So basically, um, oh, if I want to talk about the Eldar, I'm going to have to explain what psychers are, and then I'm going to have to get into the warp, and then I'm going to have to get into chaos. And okay, 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 to, uh... okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so basically, all of the Eldar are psychers. Psychers are the wizards of this world. Psychers draw on their power from the warp. The warp is space hell. Whatever. It sounds like a Whatever place you should live. Yes, I should. It's it's literally fucking space hell. It, it's just space hell. Okay. Big. Wh why, why do I not know what to picture? Every single sentient being has what we call a soul, and that soul lives in the warp or the immaterium. There, every single feeling that they possibly could feel is in the warp. And is given form, funk, body, and function. Jesus Christ, what? So basically, if you've ever felt horny, well, now you got a demon based around that horny feeling. If you ever what? felt angry, well, now you got a demon based around And, like, uncomfortably horny. It's like, un uh, I don't want to touch on this unless you demon. So basically, the psychers tap into, basically, psychers open up their brains, look in the warp, say, hmm, I want to do that, and Grab it from the warp, do it, and put it back in the warp, basically. So what do they want to do? So wait, they can know, make people we... feel horny? Uh, depends on the strength of the Psyker, but yes. What? I don't want to touch on the Dark Eldar either, okay? What? Wait, they actually, are... what? I don't want to touch <laughs> on the Dark Eldar. They are, like, almost as bad as the Sleshy Demons, okay? <laughs> what do they do? I don't... I don't want to touch on the Dark Eldar. They're Please evil touch elves, on I don't them. Want to touch I don't want to touch them. Please elaborate. I, I think a new demon was just born. I gotta explain the origin of the Eldari as a whole before I explain the Dark Eldar. So first... <clears throat> so you got this entire species of psychers, and all of them feel amplified feelings. What you feel is a pinch, they feel like a slap. What you feel is... Uh, basically, everything you feel, everything is amplified, like, five times. This entire, like, galaxy-spanning empire eventually went, You know what? You know all these, like, really cool feelings we got? I want to feel them more. And more. And I want to feel that one specifically a lot more. Which one specifically? That one. As you might imagine, that summoned a lot of demons. And one of them happened to be a really big, strong demon that ate all their souls. What? Some of them ran away and were like, you know what? This place is fucked up. We're leaving. And yeah, the other I half were like, nah, we'll stay. Okay. The ones who left are the current Eldar. And the ones who stayed are the Dark Eldar. Who literally have two choices. Torture other people. Or give their souls to the Chaos God of torture, sex, and pleasure. What? So you gotta pick your poison there, right? Okay. Now which faction would you like to touch on next? I promise Space Elves and Sleneshi Demons are the two weird ones. That's it. Just those Sleneshi things, Demons. I think. <laughs> at least they'll, at least this will be short. So basically, in the warp, there are four really, really big demons. There are four, like, s factions, and they're each led by a big demon. Um, 
We have Corn, K H O R N E. Nothing I'm sorry, else. one of them's named Corn. No. Blood, skulls, all, guts, all that stuff. But they're also the god of loyalty, like honor, that stuff. All right. We got Zinch. Don't ask me to spell that. I don't know. So basically, they're the god of like mischief plans. They actually appraised a person for attempting to betray them because they had a really good scheme and he just went you know what See, that that's freaking genius become my most powerful lawyer uh become my most powerful subject now i have been learning about this lore for the past two years so when you were 11 you were exposed to horny dark elves no no i dipped my toes in slowly okay yeah but what if your toes were slightly warm and someone peed in the water and the water was made of mud and the mud was made of souls and you were a soul and suddenly everything makes so much more sense holy crap how you're a fish exactly <laughs> you understand how wonderful 40k lore is no carrying it on about the sex demons um we uh, next we got Nurgle, Papa Nurgle. He's, uh, he's the chill dude. He's the god of disease, uh, cycle of life. He's technically the god of death and life. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Are you sure you're gonna be able to post this? Um, there's gonna need to be a lot of censoring and editing involved. <laughs> That's what I thought. Anyways. <clears throat> We got Papa Nurgle, he's the nice dude, he's the god of, uh, stagnation. Papa Nurgle? Rot. Papa Nurgle, he's the nice one. Papa Nurgle? Is he made of popcorn, or is he just the papa? He is made of solid, rotten flesh, maggots, worms, and decay, and every disgusting, gross thing you could possibly imagine. Ah! And finally, oh. we touch on the one you asked about. Oh god, I don't even want to know anymore. Slanesh. I love how uncreative these names are. It sounds like they just found like a drunk in the alleyway and they were like, hey, make some noises. Corn! Schlunesh! Papa Nurgle! Or they went to like some weird church with a drunk priest and were like, who are you praying to? And they're like, Papa Nurgle. Like, That's actually pretty accurate to what usually happens in this game. Really? Lord, that, that's actually kind of accurate to what happens in floor. Except, instead of just being really confused, they bring in flamethrowers and burn the entire place to the ground. What? 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 Now, who in the little, like, uh, rant at the beginning do you want to learn about next? I don't remember them. Could you please repeat them? Oh, we got oh, Primark, God, not we got this the again. Emperor of Mankind, we got the evil robotic space Holy Egyptian. Holy crap.